This video is to show you how to make a custom hatch pattern in AutoCAD. In this case is a custom pattern to represent a diamond neural that has two pairs of lines, two lines at a 120 degree angle. Looks like this. What we're going to have to do is modify two files, the ACAD.PAT file, which is the imperial version of the patterns, and the ACAD ISO file, which is the metric version. A quick way to do this is to go down to the command prompt. At the command prompt, type in open parentheses so you can write a little line of lisp. Start app, open quote, notepad, close quote, open parentheses, find file, open quote, acad.pat, close quote, close parentheses, close parentheses. It'll search the path and find the version of the ACAD PAT file that's being used in the current session. Look for a description called ANSI 37. Copy everything including the asterisk down for those three lines. Go to the end of the file. At the end of the file, I've already placed it once, but I'll do it one more time. Copy, uh, paste the uh, copied lines to the end of the file. Change the 45 degrees to 30 degrees. Change the 135 degrees to 150. And then first line, change everything after the asterisk to whatever you want to call this hatch pattern. Save it. When you go back to AutoCAD now, you're able to use that pattern. You can do it from the ribbon, you can do it from here. I'm going to go ahead and fill in that area so you have a boundary that, that uh, can be filled in. And if you want a partial hatch pattern, draw a line. It's kind of temporary, comes across the corners. And then you can pick the area bounded by that line. When you're done, just erase those two lines. Uh, and now you have the pattern that we used to put on the drafting table, which was mostly to save time, but also to leave an open space in the event that you had to, in those unusual circumstances, place a dimension directly on the part. To uh, do the same thing to the ACAD ISO pattern file, up arrow until you go to the command prompt where it says start app again. Back up to the ACAD.PAT and add ISO after the word ACAD. Come to the end, press enter. Now notepad opens up with the metric version. It's exactly like the imperial version except that the dimension at the end instead of being 0.125 is 3.175. Copy it at the end of the line, at the end of the file. At the end of the file you'll do the same thing you did before where you give a name. You can also give a description if you want and then 30 degrees and 150 degrees and you've got a diamond neural pattern that you can use in either imperial or metric drawing.